Next track, Lon Doppler starting to show little signs of precipitation out there, and that's going to be a concern for the morning commute. For some of us, it's not going to be a widespread problem, but we got a couple of hours later this morning where we may see some light freezing drizzle and rain setting up. Moisture has been on the move. That's a four hour loop. You're not seeing a whole lot there until you look out towards Louisville and there you're just starting to see it show up around Louisville running west of I-65. That is likely going to be the best spot to see it. Some of our western counties and I'm talking about that chance again for a little bit of uh, freezing precipitation. You go down to the southwest where it's mild enough. It's all just light rain shower. So we get to deal with that this morning as a warm front tracks in later on today. Uh, the rain showers take over later on today. We're in for generally just a dreary, cloudy, chilly, raw day with highs in the 40s and those rain showers around. But it's that that little batch right there that could cause us problems. Look what's going on out west. There's a winter storm watch from southern Minnesota arcing all the way up through Montana. Winter weather advisory in the uh, mountains in Denver and the Rockies and uh, Sierra. They've got a winter storm warning. There's a succession of lows that are tracking east. And they're in for a major winter storm this weekend. The one that's bringing all the heavy rain here with that low tracking off to our north and west is going to put that band of heavy snow across that part that had the winter storm watch out. So, yeah, they're looking for a big time winter pummeling here. We're warm enough. It's all rain. Uh, and this is not part of that. This is an initial little shot with a wave of low pressure that's coming in later on. Uh, so we're talking they're right there. That brief mix, maybe some slick spots on the roads. I've not elevated the threat index. I don't think it's a widespread significant enough threat, but we'll need to watch out for that. And then in the afternoon scattered showers, but watch what happens. Showers ramp up overnight and into Thursday, still on the lighter end, but starting to pick up in intensity. And then Friday night, Saturday, here comes the wave where we will see our best potential for heavy rain, probably some embedded thunder. You can see it's starting to pick up overnight and into Saturday morning and then through the day Saturday. So we've got quite a bit of precipitation hanging our way. The way this year has gone shouldn't be any surprise to you. It's cold enough for that bit of a mix this morning, though. We're in the upper 20s in Lexington. It's 32 out around E-Town. It's in the mid to low 20s, our eastern mountain counties. And there is a little bit of a wind chill impact. Uh, the wind out of the southeast to south today, and uh, it feels like it's in the teens and 20s, low 20s. So our rainfall, we've talked about this, how we're at our third wettest year. Well, with the rain that's tracking in this weekend, it looks like it's generally going to be between about one to maybe over two inches of rain, depending on your location. That's easily going to bump us up to not only the number one spot, put us at number one and then just add to that number. We'll pad it through the weekend into December and throughout the rest of the December will, uh, month that's left uh, the, in the year. We're only just going to add to that number. So. Get ready for a potentially slick commute, especially west towards the I-65 corridor or some of our western counties as you go west of Lexington towards Louisville. You could run into that. Showers likely overnight, and here comes the weekend. If you've got anything to do outside, you're going to be fighting rain chances. It'll be on and off, but some of it, especially Friday night, Saturday, can be on the heavy side with some rumbles of thunder. And then late in the weekend, the rain chance ramps down Saturday. We dry out and here comes the chill again. 60s to 40s to 30s by Tuesday of next week.